Hello everyone, Jin here, and this is the second part of the mission system tutorial. In this video I will talk about the objectives. So there are a few objective types for now. Let me list them and explain them in more detail. You have kill objective. Kill objectives with multiple NPCs to spawn for the same NPC or entity. Or, how, or, or however you like to call them. Gather item objectives. Talk to specific NPC objectives. Be in a specific transformation state objectives. Currently it's only it only supports Saiyans for now, I believe. Have a specific level objective. Then go to a specific dimension or biome objective or be in a specific dimension or biome objective. The last two are not the same because one needs you to go to it only once and then the other needs you to be there to spawn the kill NPCs, the kill objectives NPCs. So of course there are a few other types planned we will see when I get to it again. Then to the format on how objectives should be used. The first line in the mission objective needs to be one of the followings. Start, next, skip or restart. These are currently pre-coded so you must use one of these. Then also objectives if are completed the mission screen will go to the reward screen without you choosing it unless people want me to change it later so so now let me explain the format with an example for example one of the cyber missions like this one it's important that the parameters of an objective are separated with a semicolon so you see that this is already an objective. The first one of this line separated by semicolons is always the objective type. In this example it uses kill same type which will spawn the amount of NPCs that are set at once after pressing the currently set start button. The next ones are not important to be in order. The important part of these are the first character of every parameter. These will tell the objective parameters type. In this example the N is always it always tells the name. In this case it represents the entity's name I added a generated text file to the missions folder that will include all the entity's name that should work for your mod setup. But that doesn't mean that they will actually work, only that they should probably work. So it's not the same. Anyway, so you can get these names if you don't know how to get these. M means, in this case, the amount. For this objective it means the amount of NPCs that will spawn. For another objective type, like gather item, it can mean the amount of items needed. Or for the level type, the amount of levels needed to complete the, the objective. So age means health and A means attack damage amount. Other parameters that can be used for kill or kill same objectives are spawn messages, for example, or death messages. Let me show you an example first. S means the spawn message. And since translated is true, that means I can set a line that can be localized, that is present in the localization file. So this will be shown and every kill, as you see, you can have multiple missions, so 
object, ob you can have multiple objectives as you see so you can set for each different spawn message but they will spawn at once so if you press start they will spawn all at one time so and this D is the death message so if you kill one this message will appear it even supports sound files with the following parameters so if you want a sound file to be used well in this case the mod doesn't have that much sound files that you could use but you can make your own mod which has only for example sound files that could be a way to use the, this feature so but that uses different uh, letters so O will be for the spawning sound message and U will be for the death sound message. Another parameter is the T. You can give multiple transformations for one NPC. Set its spawn time in tick where 20 ticks should be one second and set the power boost amount which the NPC will get multiplied with. For example, 2 would mean 2 times its current health and attack damage. For example, the Frieza killing mis uh, mission, where here is T, and uh, this is this one is a uh, long, since it has if you it can have more transformations. So for T, this is all the T parameters part so and these are separated with two vertical bars so each transformation is separated with two vertical bars and they are in order so this will be the first transformation for the base one this is its base health and this is the tick time after it's uh, it's over it will change to this entity and have its base stats multiplied with the with this amount and then the next one will be multiplied with these the already the previous ones and so on but I would suggest only use this for a simple kill objectives even for those it's not really advised just yet it might be unstable then there are talk to objectives so talk to objectives use three additional parameters the N for the entity name G which is the actual thing that the NPC will NPC will tell the player and B is the button the player will need to click and no you cannot have multiple buttons for now put those choices to the rewards part so this is the end of the objectives video, thanks for watching and see you all next time.